You know, I kind of broke my rule yesterday. I said I wasn't going to announce or talk about any projects that I have going on, business aside, talking about coding, until I actually had that project completed. But I was just really excited about this whole project and the fact that this is going to get done because it has to get done and that I'm really excited about completing this instead of feeling like I have to do it. It makes for a different scenario. This isn't something that I'm creating in order to create a video or a web series about. This is something I'm creating for the business and sure I will be recording snippets here and there. I probably record the whole entire process of me putting this whole thing together and then eventually sometime next year once the business has launched I will release a video. Yeah, I'll probably release the video. In the future, I'm going to be looking back at this video and videos like it where I discuss preparation for the launch of the business. Similar to in this video where I'm looking back at my process and getting my very first ever software engineering job. As many of y'all know, my very first software engineering job is the job that I highlighted in A Day in the Life of a Software Engineer. And my job is a software engineer at a startup. Now, I was in two different phases in each of those videos. My job uh, as a software engineer at a startup, I was mainly working on in-house projects. I wasn't on any contracts. Tracks. And then a day in the life as a software engineer, that's when I actually joined a team and was on a big enterprise application, Java, you know, back end, front end, everything in between. That's what I was working on. And the process of getting that job is a bit untraditional. But in order to talk about how I got this job, I'm going to avoid telling my whole entire story, but we have to go back into talking about how I got my internship at Norfolk Southern, or at least a brief overview of it because the connections I made at Norfolk Southern are what got me this particular job. So once upon a time, back when I was a mere computer science college student, I was looking for internships because I realized it was time to grow up and it was time to actually get a job that was in my industry instead of a job that would just you know, pay me a little bit of money. So I started applying to a lot of different internships, a lot of different co-ops, things around the Hampton Roads area. And everyone around here knows about the railroad, knows about Norfolk Southern. And I stumbled across one of their co-op opportunities for a computer science student to work in their intermodal systems team. Now, I ended up applying, there's a whole process that went into there, but they ended up hiring me as a co-op or intern the idea behind co-op is that you come back every other semester until you're no longer a college student. So you go to school one semester, you work for a semester. You go to school a semester, you work for a semester. Me, eh, I think I could do it all, so I decided to work full-time and go to school full-time and do YouTube and learn iOS development. That's a whole other story in and of itself, which in fact, I have a whole entire video of how I got an internship at a Fortune 500 company. I thought that would be a little bit more uh, enticing for people to click on if they didn't know about Norfolk Southern. That is all about my story of getting the job at Norfolk Southern, which also highlights how I got my job at NASA because that ties into all of that. But the team I worked with there, Intermodal Systems at Norfolk Southern, I assume they took a liking to me because they ended up inviting me back for a second semester. My first semester was in fall some year, and then the summer of the next year, I was invited back and that's when I did a big project. They sent me over to Chicago. I had to go and record this crazy tedious manual process of crosstown traffic. It's basically where one railroad, the Eastern railroads like CSX or uh, Norfolk Southern trades off their shipments to Canadian Pacific or whatever West Coast railroads they are. That's where they meet. There's four terminals in Chicago and that's where I had to go each and every day from like 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. I would work with the people there, document their whole entire process in order to come back and give all the information off to the team as well as my two cents on how to automate that process. And the relations that I built with that team it led to me getting my software engineering job because I got contacted by someone on LinkedIn who owned this company, a software development firm, and asking if I was interested in working there because they heard about me from someone who I worked with at Norfolk Southern and one of their jobs was building a big enterprise application for Norfolk Southern. And if it wasn't LinkedIn, maybe it was an email, but that email led to a phone call, which led to an in-person interview. I wouldn't consider it an interview. It was more so of, let's see if our interests align. Let's see if we like each other. Let's just talk about the business, what would be held at hand. You know, we went out and got lunch and that led to another phone call, a couple more emails, to the point where we finally met. Once I graduate, I'm going to work for him. So sure enough, I made a whole video about the best month of my life, May of 2018. I graduated, I got married, I went on my honeymoon, and two days back from my honeymoon, I went to work. I went to work, 
worked on a lot of in-house projects, finally got onto the Norfolk Southern contract, and that's all she wrote. Not much of a story, but hey, I figured it was fairly unique. Figured some of y'all would want to hear about it because it's very important the networks you build, the relationships that you maintain, because that can lead you in a whole entirely different path in life. If I wouldn't have been nice or if I would have left on bad terms or not tried to keep up with or, or be respectful to my team, my former team now, I never would have been able to get this opportunity. So if there's something for y'all to take away from this instead of just a fun little story, that is maintain your relationships, build networks, be nice to people like that's just that's a whole life life goal right just be nice to people because what goes around comes around but don't be nice to people because you expect something in return if that makes sense hope you all enjoyed this video subscribe if you didn't already i have a lot of videos surrounding this story i have a video not sure how good it is because it's like three years old about how i got my internship at nasa i have a whole video of how i got my internship at norfolk southern or fortune 500 company i have a video about about one chapter of my software engineering job where i worked on a lot of in-house projects and then a day in the life of a software engineer where it's a day in the life of a software engineer where i actually work with a team and do software engineering. I'll link all of those videos up in the card. If they're not up in the card, then they'll be linked down in the description. You know the, the description, it's right there below the subscribe button and below the like button in case you're curious about where that was. I think that's all for me. I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.